So I'm starting presenting um, the project of the research methodology and research design module we have developed. So uh, first, um, it's the strand A, uh, course A1, and the title is dedicated to research methodology and research design. Uh, and first slide is the team of the project uh, who worked on, on development of the project of this uh, module. So a team combined three universities. Uh, so uh, KNRTU, ASPU, and uh, JU, Jagiellonian University. And uh, we attracted um, a team of different specialists from different areas, from uh, physical sciences and natural sciences, sciences from social sciences and humanities. And such a combination of specialists from different fields uh, is the cornerstone of our approach to the project development. And um, here you can see uh, professors uh, from different departments and different universities, again, in different fields. And uh, course aim and target group. Uh, so first, uh, the course aims are to introduce the learner to basic research methodology and design. So uh, they can develop specific skills for performing efficient research in a certain area. And the target group, of course, the primary target group are doctoral students, but we also hope that the course will be valid and interesting for master students and also possibly we can develop certain uh, content for staff who will teach the doctoral students. And uh, this approach, the basic approach uh, in subdividing uh, the areas into social sciences and physical sciences finds the reflection in the learning outcomes in all other course categories. So starting with general part, which will be suitable for any university in humanities and natural sciences and physical sciences. So they're general and applicable to any uh, uh, university area of expertise. And uh, briefly, we're starting from identifying the research area, performing literature review, setting the hypothesis, testing it, and then applying uh, skills and research methods uh, to performing uh, good research and achieving good research results. And uh, this course learning outcomes you can see on the slide. And then we also uh, develop learning outcomes for the domain specific parts, physical sciences and humanities. So students, uh, doctoral students who uh, study, uh, uh, who are doing research in physical sciences, so they have five uh, learning outcomes in general part and three learning outcomes in the special physical sciences part. The same for students in social sciences and humanities. However, these uh, learning outcomes, they are not too different because again, they are focused on identifying the research area, setting the hypothesis, and then performing good research, and uh, then um, checking research results and obtaining good uh, and reproducible uh, re results of the research project in any area suitable for any university in our consortium. Then the course content, we are starting with general introduction to research methodology and research design, how we plan the research, we set the goals and hypothesis, then plan the research activities. Here the focus is uh, given to skills and teamwork research, which is quite important today, and also interdisciplinary research, research in different disciplines. And then the main specific parts, for example, in social sciences and humanities, we add some specific components to the research methodology. You can see on the slide, such as, for example, critical thinking, sociological methods. Uh, but again, the general methodology is uh, the same. So the pathway from starting and setting hypothesis to obtaining a good research result and finalizing the project. The same for physical scientists, but here, of course, it's a bit different than uh, compared to social sciences, we are focused on experiments, uh, experimental science here, and uh, experimental methods are quite important, and we selected two very broad areas, spectroscopy methods and microscopy research methods, which are applicable to any uni almost any university in nature or physical sciences within our consortium. And also, we offer to add to the course some mathematical modeling uh, 
uh, component because it, it is very important for any research in natural, physical, or even social sciences and offers some programs such as MATLAB or another mathematical modeling platform. Uh, the structure, of course, this is the brief overview. So uh, several hours of lectures and the general part and the main specific part subdivision is again uh, our approach. And also independent work components, papers, essays, presentation and seminars. And in the main specific part, the components are uh, generally the same, but again, they are focused on uh, physical or social sciences projects. And uh, finally, workshops, several hours, and assessment of the course accomplishment. And uh, a few words about deadlines. So we started our team work in the end of April. So, and we finalized our draft um, uh, mid-May. So now we're approaching to uh, another key, uh, keystone in our course development, the presentation, and uh, we will work on fine tuning the draft and development of course content in the, in the forthcoming several months. And thank you for your attention and um, we will continue working on fine tuning of the draft. So you're welcome with your comments and questions. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Artyom, for presentation. And we have time for discussions and questions. Please, and if you have I, any questions. I, and I encourage my colleagues uh, who participated in the development of the draft module to also enter the discussion if you have any answers for the questions. Thank you. I think we should get a comment from the coordinators. Uh, Inga and Irina, please. Your comments as the leaders. Hello, uh, Artyom. Thank you very much for your team and, and presentation. Um, actually, I, I would like to have some comments for from really academic stuff like uh, Marek and and Vitaly, who are who are professors and and uh, and are experts in the field of research. Okay. Maybe Georg as well. Oh, we'll be have, happy to receive any comments now or maybe in the future because we are now ready for uh, fine tuning the draft and uh, further development of the course content. Um, uh, hello, maybe we can discuss uh, at the moment that's uh, maybe for participants it's not um, uh, clear how to formulate the question so maybe uh, some questions will be after the old presentation uh, I think Patricia have to think a little bit uh, uh, about uh, uh, your uh, idea for this course from my point of view the, it seems very interesting so uh, a topic is uh, essential for uh, doctoral students and not only I think uh, it might be course for uh, both level for a master and uh, PhD level yeah, about uh, scientific uh, research. Okay, thank you very much for the presentation. Thank yeah. you.